Hi, good morning. Um, with me today, I have Elle. And Elle, would you like to tell a little bit about yourself? Hi, everyone. I'm Elle. I'm from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I'm the founder of El Zada. You can find us at www.elzada.com. Uh, we are currently building three companies, um, as in especially in regards of um, the fashion business, which is uh, El Zada Boutique, El Zada Tailoring House, and we are currently working on El Zada Academy. All right, thank you very much. We're happy to have El Zada El with us here today. I have a few questions, uh, maybe one mm -hmm. to ask El. Yeah? In most organizations, when they want to start a change or shift of a culture, they usually focus on individual, changing individual. In your opinion, after attending this program? Um, this program has successfully given me a sort of an awareness <clears throat> of what are the things that um, the entire conflicts or the entire problem are stemming from. Mm -hmm. um, it is, um, if we are like um, ch busy spending all our time and resources mm -hmm. changing each and individual people, mm -hmm. that will not effectively do the trick because that mm -hmm. is essentially firefighting. You are trying to um, solve one conflict when it happens and then you will move on to another and another and that will just keep on going and going. So um, here we've been um, given the enlight enlightenment on the um, on the manner how environment is essentially being created. Mm. In each environment, mm -hmm. we of course we cannot avoid um, see, uh, observing conflicts. Uh, um, exactly, and we and this this is not the issue. The no. issues is uh, on how we are tackling those conflicts. And in each environment, there's a common denominator. Mm -hmm. And that common denominator is us, our own self, the individual within the environment. Um, giving the awareness that each and every one of us have that huge impact in contributing to the creation of the environment mm -hmm. will allow us to work and support each other in creating a desired environment, the environment that will that will have the highest possibility of um, yielding or exerting positive results. Um, and when when uh, Arthur Kamazi, Mr. Arthur Kamazi, were, were, uh, was explaining to us about um, um, the dynamic of all these people, essentially, environment is being created by three elements. What are they? Um, the first element would be yourself. Okay. Number two is the element of how people are reacting towards you. Okay. And the third one is how you are reacting towards their Back. reaction. Okay. So that essentially created the environment. Uh -huh. So for example, um, um, when when we are doing something. Uh -huh. Um, it, this is a law of science. For mm -hmm. every action, there's a it's reaction. reaction yes. So when we are doing something, whether it's conscious or subconscious, we are essentially um, exerting a certain actions that has an impact on an individual. Now, the question is that whether the impact is a positive one or a negative one. Mm. So uh, a positive impact will more likely uh -huh. produce a positive reaction. Exactly. And now, even when you are um, doing a positive action, uh -huh. the reaction could still be negative if that particular individual has no awareness of their roles in creating the environment. True. So, I see what your yeah. point. Yeah. So, um, so when there's a reaction, be it positive or negative, to that positive um, action that you're doing, now it goes back to you. So now, how do you react to that? Do you react to that positively or do you react to that negatively? And that will create the environment, the kind of environment, or whether you are supporting that person to improve towards success or you'll just make them succumb even lower mm -mm. to the laboring. So they will fall even further down the pit and mm -hmm. without even realizing it because most organization and individual for that matter, they're completely oblivious to this fact of the power that each and every individual have mm -mm. towards the environment, towards creating the environment. Wow, that would mean that in order to create the culture and organization wishes to have, mm -hmm. 
is to actually give the awareness to everybody on how to act or react or act intelligently mm -hmm. to create a positive environment. Exactly. Um, in, in every human being, there are three facets. There are the hero facet, which will um, have all the positive traits mm. of intelligent behaviors, mm -mm. of a high EQ behaviors. Mm. And we have the villain that mm -hmm. have that that will demonstrate all this negativity that will have essentially a negative impact on the environment. And there's the observer who are very dominant and they they are, they are not uh, reactive to the environment, be it positive or negative. They just um, not reactive towards it, which will not do the environment any good. Yeah. Because it's like uh, whether you're there or whether you're not there, it doesn't make any impact, exactly. right? Yeah. So these three facets in us essentially will come out in the kind of environment where it will be very more accommodative for that particular facet to come out. In a positive, constructive, supportive environment, the hero facet will more likely to be to emerge from each individual. Whereby in a negative environment, and now remember each and every person play a role inside it, exactly. right? So in that negative environment, the villain facet will more likely to emerge and work within the environment. So just imagine how how actually the environment or the condition that we are in is essentially a choice. A choice that we make, whether that conscious or unconscious, but we are making it essentially. Life is about options. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. With that, I think um, uh, we'll um, end it here and I thank you very much thank for you. your time. Thank you. Thank you everyone.